Hello, hi, how are you today? Are you already feeling the energies? Uh, some people have been feeling this already for a week, but I want to talk to you about this full moon in August. Um, there's been sort of this crescendo of things happening. I want you to know that I'm calling it a portal because it is ushering in a lot of this Lionsgate energy a little bit ahead of time for the people who are ready for it. For other people, please... Know that you can catch up. You can make those quantum leaps. I can help you. The portal of quickening. What is a quickening? Well, people who've been pregnant and you're about to have a baby, you'll feel this sense of expectancy. You're expecting. We're all expecting. Everyone who's in this department of Twin Flame Landia is expecting something. They're expecting a lot of things, really. We want the whole package. But what are the things that are going with this energy? Well, first of all, you might notice that you are ravenous. Have you been having massive cravings? Um, you want sugar. You want salt. You just, you could eat sugar till the cows come home. And you're wondering where in God's name is this coming from? It's coming from a part of you that manages your appetite, but it also is coming from a part that, needs you to have an appetite for living. Do you have an appetite for living? Because sometimes you can feel like, I just don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I don't even know what to do. I'm out. And you don't feel really like resigning. You don't feel resigned. You just kind of feel like taking an you know, when you get off the expressway and you're just kind of like, I, I'm just going to like go take a different route, right? No, you're not going to be able to take a different route. I'll tell you why. Number one, you're activated. Number two, it's like when you turn around on your trail and you're just like, I'm not going to get to that beautiful thing that I know that's there, right? So you might be cresting the mountain or you might feel like you're never going to reach that pinnacle of something. I have news for you. It's not a pinnacle. There's not only one pinnacle. There are heights that you can reach and there are levels that you attain and you get that under your belt. You actually cannot slip back and lose ground. That is a large part of this energy of the full moon. There's no backsliding. Okay, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. Allergies. Okay, if you're ravenous and you're eating foods or you may notice that what you're eating, you may have some allergic reactions. You may find that there's something popping up that was hidden. You never really knew before. What is it? It's likely some component of the food. It could be a, a series of protein molecules. It could be some of the type of sugar and things. A lot of it's going to be oils. You know, what kind of oils and fats are in the foods that you're eating is it, you know, uh, the difference between virgin pressed olive oil or a hydrogenated oil. These things are going to give people a reaction without really realizing exactly why. I have ways to help you tweak that so that you can get through it and you can up level and not have it pull you down because we're not going backwards. The next thing. This is a deep, deep tower energy. What comes with the tower is changes that people have wished for. There is not going to be a spaceship that comes down here and, you know, does all kinds of things. The, the change happens from the ground up and the top down. So as we bear witness to things that need to change, those changes are wished and hoped for, but Tower moments, really deep tower means that it's here. It's going to shake the ground. It's going to shake the foundations. It is going to stir things up. It's not always stirring up trouble. It's stirring change. Change that really needs to happen now because we're up to here with some of the stuff. I want to say something to you. As a twin flame, you're not intended to come together and be dragged down by the world and you know, work and then come home and dump your problems on each other and just keep trauma dumping. No, you, this is why people have a separation. You're intended to do that stuff ahead of time. I have ways to make it expedient and efficient 
and even economical, quite frankly. So deep tower energy. If something needs to change in your life, it's going to flip and change. And you better believe it. And you better be able to roll with it. And you better be able to go like, whoa, and get yourself moving with it and move with the current here. There is an energy portal. Okay, whether you like it or not, you can feel it. We had an amazing time in my most recent class where we talked about some of these things and the things that people experienced were some really high level energetic things, great dreams, dreams that were telling them what needs closure on. And we did that with doing the work that I teach people to do so that they are empowered. People were meeting up with friends who were meeting significant people. Um, there were a lot of great reports and people are feeling that the yoke is coming off. That's actually a tangible feeling. Now, what the yoke is or what you've been burdened with or what has shackled you, you may not know, but that changes upon you now and it's best to be proactive and do something about it. Okay. Change, stop being trapped. Whatever he has trapped you, and you're going to see sweeping change with people who are trapped, people who are imprisoned, people who are um, somehow in some limbo. At a personal level, are, do you feel trapped or stuck in your job or a situation? Are you trying to keep finding the golden or silver lining, you know, at any given time because you just keep need to keep white knuckling through it. You're like this, like I got to get my truck to the destination. I got to get my truck. I'm dragging my twin flame behind my pickup truck. I got to get there. And it's bumpy and it's dirty and there's an easier way. And it involves my twin flame body modality. There is an easier way to elevate your experience and really elevate, really elevate. Okay. For real, up level, elevate. I'm not just throwing those words around. You're going to find that it does lift you up quite literally and you start having a different experience. The point being that you're pulling people to your lever, not level, not going down to theirs. We're not going down. We're not going backwards. This is the beginning and the end. This is, you know, a new beginning. So are you ready for the new chapter in your life? I think so, because a lot of people would like that change. So I want to tell you that in my Lionsgate class, I'm going to tell you how to create dramatic change without drama. How do you create dramatic change without drama? It has to be through the connections of your twin flame body, your marma points, because this is where your will is. The higher will actually wants to help you at the level of the lower will. It's not being willful like a little kid, like, uh, oh, I, I need to have that thing that's so bad for me, or, oh, I just need to have my cigarettes, or I just keep need to keep drinking alcohol and go to bars. Like, oh, I just need to keep going to this place because, you know, they, they are like, you know, doing the things in the meditations that, what, what, what? I need to keep watching, you know, things. And, and you're going to find out that some of those things don't serve who you're becoming. That you can literally set it aside. If you have trouble setting aside and saying goodbye, please join my class. So how to create dramatic change without drama. Who wants drama? Some people live for drama. Trust me, I have seen people and I've refused to participate and they get really frustrated. They're not even narcissists. Do you know what they remind me of? Little kids having a tantrum. Okay, so we need to put this in perspective. What is really the drama going on? What is the drama worldwide? What are we scaling worldwide? This is really painful, hard stuff. It is really causing real damage and collateral damage. But what about in your life? If we were to scale that down to your life, how are you eating? How are you living? How are you, you know, what kind of, you know, things do you have in your life? Do you have friends? I hear this a lot that people lose friends on the journey. No, they don't. Their real friends come around again because real people are real. 
And they have a vibe that is loving, kind, compassionate, and they're right at the right energy for you. It's not like something where you just like are like, well, I have these like fair weather friends and these drinking buddies and everything. No, 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 no. Even your spouse, if your spouse is a person, they are not your friend. That is not a friend and no wonder you're lonely in your marriage. How would you like to create some dramatic change without the drama? So please join us and I hope that you'll very much use this quickening energy to your benefit. I'm here to show you how and help you be successful with your Twin Flame Ascension. Please kindly like, subscribe, share my video with others. If you like doing this work, if you would like to learn how, I have a Twin Flame Body Practitioner course because more and more people are going to need to know how to do this Ascension properly, how to be guided, how to breathe, how to open their channels, the whole thing so that they can really up level, okay? It's not just about health and wellness. Health and wellness are the result of integration of the brand new template of relationship from 5D. So thanks so much. Have a great day. Hope to see you there. Bye.